Hello friends! How's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. I don't even know who I am today, but I feel so cute with this whole vibe, this whole look. I think it's really pretty. Basically for today's Shop My Stash, I played with a lot of really old makeup. Things that I used to love years ago, things that I just haven't touched in a very long time, and I really like the look that came out of it. This is a Chrisma brand wig. I've had this one for quite a while. If it's on the site, it's just like a black lace front wig. It's nothing that exciting, but almost all of my wigs are Chrisma brand or they're just from a local shop. Anyways, I don't feel the need to babble much more. Let's just hop into the video. Hi, hello, how's it going? Obviously, it's another wig day. You saw that from the intro. I just, I'm in a place in my life right now where I just don't want to mess with my hair. When I'm at work, it's up and out of my face because it helps keep me cooler with the mask. And then on my days off, I just don't want to bother with my hair. So it's wigs and ponytails, my friends. And that's just how life is right now. Obviously, I already did my brows and I did not prime yet. Usually I prime first. I just didn't today. But we're going to be going in with the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. This was one of my number one favorite primers for probably years. I loved these Becca primers so much. And I figured since I'm using a lot of my oldest makeup today, that I would bust this guy out. Oh, I forgot how good it smells. It smells like candy. Basically, this just helps make your skin super glowy and pretty. I feel like it doesn't do anything as far as making my skin softer or making makeup stick to it better, but it sure does make it glowy. And this used to be my favorite primer ever. Our water is shut off here at our apartment complex because there's a flood or something happening on the other end and my building's being affected as well. But thankfully, my sink was dribbling out just enough water for me to wet my beauty sponge. It's like almost 3 p.m. on, what is today? May 26th, Tuesday, this video is going up tomorrow. Hello from the present. And I've been procrastinating, I've been wanting to film all morning, but our water was out and I just realized our kitchen sink had a little bit, so now we can get into that. For foundation, I'm gonna use my Too Faced Born This Way. This was also my favorite for such a long time. Pretty sure this is my second bottle. I'm like 99% sure I went through my entire first bottle. I have not used this foundation in a hot minute. I have no clue how I'm gonna feel about it today. Definitely more coverage than I go for nowadays. <laughs> how are you guys doing? I'm doing okay. You have no clue just like how much is going on on my end right now. I'll get into it another time, but there's just a lot going on right now. No Animal Crossing updates for you guys. Sorry, I didn't play at all this week. I've been so busy with work and just life stuff. But I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are still staying safe. I still think this foundation's really pretty, but it's definitely like not what I would reach for first anymore, probably. But it still does look really nice. For concealer, we're gonna bust out the Tarte Shape Tape. It's been a hot minute since I played with this concealer. This is, I believe, my third one. I went through a, a few of these guys. Just gonna dot a little bit because this is a very full coverage foundation. You do not need a lot. And I know I said foundation, I meant concealer. Felix is at the vet today. It was time for his annual anyways, but he's been having a cough and it's progressively getting worse. So getting him checked out to make sure it's nothing serious. He had a cough this time last year, but the doctor said it was nothing. But just in case he's developing kitty asthma or something, Wanted to get him checked out, so he's dropped off at the vet today. Hopefully nothing serious, but we will see. I feel like this is the heaviest my makeup is gonna look in a long time. I usually do strictly like light coverage foundation or no foundation, and then I go with my creams, but we're just gonna do a full face of everything today, aren't we? For cream contour, we're gonna contour instead of bronze today. I figured I would bust out my Anastasia contour stick in the shade Fawn. It's been a long time since I've used this, so. Figured it was a good idea for this video. It's a really nice, cool toned stick. It does a good job just mimicking that shadow color. I do like to work in sections with this product because I feel like it can dry down fairly quick. But if you work fast enough, it's really, really nice. I just don't like to apply this on my whole face and then start blending it out because sometimes it can be hard to blend out certain spots. I'm just gonna work on blending this out in my normal perimeter of my face where I normally would apply contour or bronzer. I haven't used just a contour product in a long time. It is really pretty though, look at that. It's, it's just such a nice shade. For cream blush, I don't really have a cream blush that's like insanely old. My Glossier Beam 
cloud paint is the oldest, but it's not really going to go with the look that I'm thinking today. So I figured I would just use the Milk Blush Stick in Swish. It's a fairly bright pink, but I feel like this can kind of go with whatever I put around it on my cheeks. It's really cute. Don't really have much to talk about. There just really isn't anything specific going on. It's just a whole lot of life happening all at once. But things are good. Nothing worrisome happening, which is nice. Hopefully things just stay consistent, if not better, for a little while. I'm just ready for some some light. <laughs> it's been very, I don't know. You guys know how it's been. It's just been sad. For my highlight, I'm going to use this one from Kaleido Cosmetics, not to be confused with Kaleidos Makeup. This is a different brand, but I'm going to use their Resort Glow Liquid Highlight, whatever it is. This is in the shade Pink Pearl. There's a very loud garbage truck driving by. I'm so sick of living in an apartment. It's so loud here. And especially with like the water situation today, I'm so angry that our water is just shut off all day because of this. I mean, I guess I'm not angry. It's just, it's very inconvenient and I'm just over it. I'm sick of living in this apartment. <laughs> There's definitely conveniences to living in an apartment, but right now my mindset is that I'm very sick of it. <laughs> yeah, that's Pink Pearl. It's not my most favorite cream highlight in a while, but it was either this or my light sticks, and I've used my light sticks so much lately. This was the only other thing that I haven't used lately. That's a liquid highlight. So yeah, there's that. For setting my face, I'm going to use my ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder because it's been a long time since I've used this. So, figured it was appropriate for this video. It's quite an older powder. I've gone through a few of these. This is probably my third or fourth one total. I mean, I remember loving this powder. It's just not my number one favorite anymore. I feel like this powder is a little heavier than my Milk Makeup one. The Milk Makeup Blur is just my all-time favorite. It's so good. I feel like nothing can really beat it. I'm just kind of setting my under eyes in T-zone, just where I would normally get creases. <laughs> Just typical face setting stuff. Nothing revolutionary or exciting. I feel like I always make a bigger mess with this powder than I do with any other setting powder ever. I don't know if I'm alone in that, but something about this powder is a lot messier. All right, for bronzer, my oldest one is the Becca Bali Sands. I've loved this one for years, so we're just gonna use this one today. I only have like two or three bronzers total, so. I only have so much variety when it comes to this. I'm just gonna bronze my face like normal. Nothing too crazy. Just trying to add some warmth back into the face so that I don't look as flat. I feel like I look so matte between that foundation concealer setting powder. I don't usually look this matte by this step. Usually I still have some glow going on. So that's different. We're gonna have to really glow it up with my highlight today. For powder blush, I've had this one sitting around for a while. This was a subscriber gift. It's one of the Urban Decay Afterglow blushes in the shade Kinky. I haven't used this in a while, and I've had it sitting in my drawer for a while, so I figured we could use it for today's video. It's just kind of a sheeny, more neutrally blush, kind of apricot-y, but it's not like too pink or anything. It's quite cute. Definitely not the most loud, outrageous blush I've ever used, but it's definitely nice. Still gonna blush the nose, of course, because it's my favorite. I like to drape it a little across the bridge, as well as on the tip. You guys know how I go crazy with blush. For freckles, let's use the Lottie London Freckle Tint. I've had this one for only a few months, really. I got it in January, but I haven't used it in a while, so we can use that for today's video. I don't want to go too crazy with them. I really want them just kind of focused here on the nose bridge area. Just something like that. And with the Lottie London one, I really like to use my Dance Beauty Sponge to pat these out. I just feel like they end up meshing in really nice to the skin. I feel like I do need to add a few more though. It looks a little too concentrated just being there. I just never feel like I can stop when it comes to freckles. I always have to keep adding more. I just cannot help myself. I'm just gonna pat these new ones out again. And there we have it. I think that will be satisfactory for now. For highlight, I wanna use my ColourPop Flexitarian. I've been loving this for so many years and I still think it's beautiful. And we're gonna use it today. I actually really like to use my beauty sponge with this. I do like to use my finger sometimes as well, and also specifically the Kaleidos Makeup H1 Highlight Brush is fantastic for this because it's pretty dense. But right now I just have a little bit on the tip of my sponge, and I'm just really gonna focus that on my cheekbone, a little on the forehead. I don't know, just kind of where I like to highlight, you know? You guys know how it goes. Just look at that wet. It's so beautiful. I love this highlight. Also just gonna tap it on like the bridge of my nose, tip of my nose. 
kind of a little sort of everywhere. I really like this highlight. It's just so pretty. All right, now that I look a little more dewy again, back to myself, <laughs> we can add some setting spray and then start working on the eyes. This is my ColourPop Pretty Fresh. I'm just really trying to barrel through it so we can move on to a different one. I do like this one though, don't get me wrong. It's not torture or anything, but that's why I'm using it today. I feel like my face makeup just looks so different today with more of that like satin matte foundation, more of a matte concealer, the powder that I use. It's just different. It doesn't look like so insanely different than what I normally do. It's just a bit different and definitely not nearly as blushy with that shade of blush that I chose. Let's go ahead and prime with the Smashbox Lid Primer in Lights. So in my Alchemy palette from Shroud, I'm so excited to be diving into this. It's just so pretty. Look how lovely it is. Oh, I adore it. I'm going to take the shade Relic here. By the way, you can use my code BEAUTBEAN if you want to save some money on Shroud's website. No pressure to use the code, it is affiliated, but I appreciate you very much if you choose to use it if you are shopping anyway. I'm just going to take that on my Kaleidos S1 brush, just taking a very small amount of this. I'm just going to run this through my crease just to help be my blending shade for my darker shade that I grab in a minute. She just did such a good job with this palette, I feel like, curating the mattes and shimmers. They all just flow so well together. They're just such beautiful tones. I don't have another palette that's quite this kind of color story in my collection. Just taking this underneath that lower lash line as well. Really just blowing this everywhere. This is kind of acting as my transition shade, but it's very much more of like a grungier tone transition shade. It's not just like a typical warm brown. <laughs> to add some depth, we're gonna take Darkling, this really pretty green. This is setting powder on my palette. It got literally everywhere. <laughs> that's okay. I'm going to take that on this little e.l.f. detail crease brush. And I'm just going to focus that more so in the outer corner. I really do want to wing this out a little bit and just create kind of that elongated shape. Not carrying this up too high necessarily in the crease. I do want just very much that more cat-like effect. And I'm going to drag it a little through the front portion of my crease just to, again, add a little bit of that shadow. But... Just being careful not to take it up too far. I'm also going to take this a little under that lower lash line. I say a little, but let's be real. I'm gonna take it all the way across the lower lash line. I really just want that dark moment. I'm just kind of making sure I connect that lower lash line with this outer portion of my eye just so it all flows and complements. I just had kind of a loose idea with this look. I didn't know exactly what I was doing. I'm taking just a tiny, tiny bit more relic and I'm holding the end of my brush so that I have less pressure. And I'm just going to very lightly start blending out this outer edge just so it can all flow from that green into my skin nicely. Just using very soft motions. Patience is key, especially when working with darker colors. But with this palette, I feel like everything does blend really easily. I don't have to work too terribly hard, but since they are dark, I do want to make sure it doesn't get carried away and blown out all over my face. <laughs> I want it very concentrated where I put it. Get how pretty that is looking. I know my lower crease isn't looking too hot, but it's because I'm not really focused on that because I am gonna be cutting the crease today. I'm more so focused on what it looks like blended upwards. Let's go ahead and start crease cutting. I'm gonna be taking this flat brush from ColourPop. It's a really old ColourPop brush. Like this was back before they even made brushes. And with that, I'm also gonna take my NYX glitter primer to help cut the crease with. You guys know how much I love my glitter primer. It just makes all the difference. Just gonna drag this across my lid and then take it just above my natural crease where I prefer my shadows to lay on my eye shape. And I'm gonna stop it where things are really deepening up, but I do think I wanna carry just a little bit of that shimmer up into it, just a little bit. You'll kind of see what I mean. I have a rough plan. For the lid, I wanna use Chalice, this beautiful, rich, like honey gold color. It's so pretty. I'm just going to pop that across the lid. And I'm just gonna kind of follow that rough idea that I laid down with the glitter primer. I'm just kind of following my eyeball shape, dragging it across. And for the most part, I want it to stop about in that zone where that green is really starting to do its thing. But then as I get right here, just using the very tippy top of the brush, I just wanna kind of draw just a little bit of gold, kind of following that wing a little bit. It's gonna be very subtle. I don't want anything too crazy with that. I just thought it might be kind of cute. And now I'm gonna take that brush I had with the green and just lightly smudge right where underneath it that shimmer and matte are meeting up just so it can flow together. 
And again, I'm just using really light motions so that it doesn't get out of hand. Just taking my time with this slow and steady wins the race. Ooh, look how cute that is. I think that's so pretty. Ooh, I like that. I think with a pencil brush, I wanna take the shimmer green alchemy and pop a little of that in my lower lash line. The shimmer green is so rich. It's just such a beautiful jewel toned green. I absolutely adore it. Focusing it mostly in this front half and just letting it kind of fade into the mat as we get to the rest of my eye. And of course, gonna blend it out with that fluffier brush. For my inner corner highlight, I figured we would just use Flexitarian from ColourPop because there isn't really a shade I like to highlight my inner corner with in this palette, so we'll just use my face highlight. Works totally fine. I'm just gonna press that right there. So bright and wet looking, it's so beautiful. And I mean, that's pretty much where we're at with the eye look. I'm gonna finish it off by recreating it on the other eye, of course, throwing on my lashes, my eye pencil, figuring out what I want with my lips, and I'll be back when I'm done. Okay, who is she? I really like this whole look. As soon as I've like finished the wig with the headband, I lost my mind. I think this is so cute. I feel so good. I feel super confident. I love the way this all pulled together. This eye look is just so pretty. I love the gray tones, the green, that pop of honey gold. It's it's all just so pretty. The eye pencil I decided to pair with today's look is from NYX. It's called Black Olive. It's just a really deep green. Lashes are still cassette from Estico. And on my lips, I went with one from Alter Ego. It's called Jealousy. I really like Alter Ego's liquid lipsticks, and I feel like this color looks super cute with this look. You can use my code BEAUTYBEAN to save some money on Alter Ego's side as well, and that is also affiliated. Anyways, I really like this look. I hope you guys like it as well. I hope you enjoyed me using some of my older products. Again, that foundation is probably not ever going to be my first pick, but I still do like it. It's just not completely my preference anymore. Overall, I'm really happy with this look, and I hope you guys like it as well. I really hope you guys have a good rest of your week. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and watching my video. If you made it to the end of this video, leave me a honey pot emoji, just because I'm feeling very honey vibes with this yellow we have going on. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up if you're not already, please hop over to my Instagram. It's beautiful being following me there. I post every single day. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm posting most days here as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.